It's me again, Justin Beaver. Today, I want to talk to you about an important part of a healthy watershed environment, aquatic macroinvertebrates, or macros for short. Before we start, let's quickly define what a watershed is. A watershed is an area of land where all of the water from the mountains and the forests and the rain in the towns drains to a particular place like a river. Now that we've got that covered, let's talk about macros. I bet many of you already know some things about macros, but let's start from the beginning with the name aquatic macroinvertebrates. Aquatic means that these creatures live in the water. Macro means large, as in you can see them with just your eyes, no microscope needed. Invertebrates means that these creatures do not have a backbone, unlike us beavers. Macros can be found all over the world, but for today, we're going to talk about macros that you could find in a river like the Mary's River in Corvallis. There are a few things aquatic macros have in common. One, they live all or part of their life in the water. For example, a dragonfly is an aquatic macro because as a larva, a young dragonfly, it lives in the water. Two, they provide essential roles in an ecosystem. For example, they break down dead materials like fallen leaves and they act as a food source for other organisms like fish, frogs, or birds. Three, they are referred to as bioindicators, which means that they tell us something about the health of the water. A bioindicator for a person could be your body temperature, which is one way to tell if you're healthy or if you have a fever and are sick. Likewise, these macros tell us about the health of the river or stream where they live. Macros can be categorized on how sensitive they are to pollution. Pollution sensitive means that these macros require very clean water in order to live. Moderately pollution sensitive means that these macros can survive in fair water quality. Lastly, pollution tolerant macros can survive even in poor quality water. Now let's talk about some of the common macros you might find in the Mary's River watershed. One, a stonefly. Stoneflies have six legs and two tails. A stonefly is very sensitive to pollution. They can't live in anything but clean water. The next is the mayfly. Mayfly larvae also have six legs and typically three tails. You can remember this because the tail looks like an M. Mayflies are also pollution sensitive. Which type of water do you think a mayfly would live in? If you guessed the second picture, you'd be right. Next is a crayfish, also called a crawfish or a crawdad. You might have eaten one of these before. Crayfish are moderately pollution sensitive. Unlike the mayfly and stonefly, which are both insects, crayfish are crustaceans, like lobsters or crabs. Like beavers, aquatic macroinvertebrates are important to a healthy ecosystem. We can help macros survive by keeping our watershed clean. What are some ways we can keep our watershed clean? Save water. Fresh water is an important resource. Don't leave faucets running. Scrape your plate clean, either into the trash or compost bin, and don't put grease down the sink. And don't litter. Always be sure to pick up your trash. Thanks again for listening, everyone. See you next time.